22 Celebs Who Got Fired From The Industry. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the intriguing world of Hollywood's unexpected twists and turns. Get ready as we uncover the stories of 22 celebrities who faced shocking scandals and career-altering controversies, leading to their eventual downfall. Stay tuned for a roller coaster ride through the highs and lows of fame. Kathy Griffin. Kathy Griffin, born on November 4, 1960, in Forest Park, Illinois, is a prominent American comedian and actress renowned for her sharp wit and irreverent humor. She gained widespread recognition for her stand up comedy and her reality TV show, Kathy Griffin My Life on the D List which humorously depicted her life and struggles in Hollywood. The show aired from 2005 to 2010 and earned her two Emmy Awards, solidifying her status as a significant figure in the entertainment industry. Griffin's career has been marked by her fearless approach to comedy, often pushing boundaries and tackling controversial topics. However, this boldness led to a major career setback in 2017. During a controversial photo shoot, Griffin posed with a mock-severed head resembling then-President Donald Trump. The image, intended as a provocative political statement, sparked widespread outrage and backlash. The fallout was swift and severe. Griffin lost numerous gigs and endorsements, and CNN terminated her annual role as co-host of their New Year's Eve special alongside Anderson Cooper. This incident thrust her into the center of a national debate about freedom of expression, political satire, and the limits of humor in a polarized society. Despite the intense public scrutiny and professional repercussions, Griffin has remained resilient. As of 2024, at 63 years old, she has continued to perform and actively engage in various projects to rebuild her career and public image. Griffin's story is a testament to the complexities of navigating a high-profile career in the public eye, particularly when it intersects with political and social issues. Her perseverance in the face of adversity highlights her enduring impact on the entertainment industry and her ability to connect with audiences through her unique comedic perspective. If you find this video not interesting enough, hit the like button to save it and watch it later. Lindsay Lohan Lindsay Lohan, born on July 2, 1986, in New York City, is an American actress, singer, and entrepreneur who rose to fame as a child star. Her career began with significant roles in Disney films such as The Parent Trap and Freaky Friday, showcasing her talent and earning her widespread acclaim. As she transitioned into her teenage years, she solidified her status in Hollywood with hit movies like Mean Girls, becoming a prominent figure in the entertainment industry and a teen idol. However, Lohan's career trajectory was marred by numerous personal and legal issues. Her struggles with substance abuse, frequent run-ins with the law, and highly publicized personal life led to a decline in her professional opportunities. In 2013, her troubles culminated when she was dismissed from the sitcom Anger Management due to allegations of unprofessional behavior, including tardiness and lack of preparation. These challenges not only affected her acting prospects, but also painted a tumultuous picture of her journey in the public eye. As of 2024, Lindsay Lohan is 37 years old. Despite the setbacks, she has shown a remarkable ability to reinvent herself. She has ventured into various business endeavors, including opening her own beach club in Mykonos, Greece. Lohan's resilience and determination to overcome her past difficulties demonstrate her ongoing commitment to both her career and personal growth. Her story serves as a compelling narrative of redemption and the complexities of maintaining fame and stability in Hollywood. Megan Fox. Megan Fox, born on May 16, 1986, in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, is an American actress and model who gained widespread fame in the late 2000s. She made her breakout performance in the blockbuster film Transformers, 2007, where her role as Michaela Baines brought her significant attention and acclaim. 
Fox quickly became a household name, known for her stunning looks and on-screen presence, and followed up her success with roles in films such as Jennifer's Body and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Despite her early success, Fox's career experienced turbulence due to publicized disputes with directors and mixed critical reception. A notable incident occurred in 2009 when she was replaced in the third installment of the Transformers franchise, reportedly due to conflicts with director Michael Bay. Her comments comparing Bay to Hitler contributed to her dismissal, marking a significant setback in her Hollywood journey. This controversy underscored the challenges faced by actors in maintaining professional relationships and navigating the industry's political landscape. In 2024, Megan Fox will be 37 years old and continue to work in the entertainment industry. She has managed to sustain her relevance through various film projects and public appearances, showcasing her versatility and resilience. Fox's career reflects the ebb and flow of Hollywood fame, illustrating the difficulties of sustaining a high-profile career amidst personal and professional conflicts. Her ability to remain in the public eye demonstrates her enduring appeal and adaptability in an ever-changing industry. Roseanne Barr Roseanne Barr, born on November 3, 1952, in Salt Lake City, Utah, is a comedian, actress, and television producer who became a prominent figure in the late 1980s. She rose to fame with her self-titled sitcom, Roseanne, which became a cultural phenomenon and earned her critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. The show, known for its candid portrayal of a working-class American family, solidified Barr's status as a trailblazer in comedy and television. However, Barr's career faced a dramatic downturn in 2018 when she posted a racially insensitive tweet about Valerie Jarrett, a former Obama administration official. The tweet, which compared Jarrett to an ape, sparked immediate backlash and led to the cancellation of the Roseanne revival by ABC. Barr's firing from her own show highlighted the impact of controversial statements in the digital age and the heightened sensitivity to racial issues in media. As of 2024, Roseanne Barr is 71 years old. Despite the significant setback, she has continued to engage with her audience through social media and various projects. Her story serves as a cautionary tale about the repercussions of public statements and the challenges of navigating a career in the spotlight. Barr's experience underscores the importance of awareness and responsibility in communication, especially for public figures, and reflects the complexities of fame in the modern era. Nicolette Sheridan Nicolette Sheridan, born on November 21st, 1963, in Worthing, Sussex, England, is a British-American actress known for her captivating performances on both television and film. She gained widespread fame for her role as Edie Britt on the hit TV series Desperate Housewives, where her portrayal of the sultry and complex character earned her critical acclaim and a devoted fan following. Sheridan's career also includes notable appearances in shows like Knott's Landing and films such as The Sure Thing. In 2009, Sheridan's career took a significant hit when she was abruptly written off Desperate Housewives. She filed a lawsuit against the show's creator, Mark Cherry, alleging wrongful termination and physical assault. The legal battle that ensued was highly publicized and spanned several years, with Sheridan claiming that her character's demise was in retaliation for reporting an incident of on-set violence. This controversy highlighted the difficulties actors can face behind the scenes and the potential repercussions of standing up against perceived injustices. As of 2024, Nicolette Sheridan is 60 years old. Despite the challenges she faced during and after her departure from Desperate Housewives, she has continued to work in the entertainment industry. Sheridan's resilience and determination have allowed her to maintain a presence on both television and film, showcasing her enduring talent and adaptability. 
Her experience underscores the complexities of navigating Hollywood's demanding environment and the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity. Paula Dean. Paula Dean, born on January 19, 1947, in Albany, Georgia, is a celebrity chef, cooking show host, and cookbook author who rose to fame for her Southern cooking style. Her warm personality and delicious comfort food recipes endeared her to audiences across the United States, leading to a successful career with numerous television shows, best-selling cookbooks, and popular restaurant ventures. Dean's charisma and culinary skills made her a household name, and she enjoyed widespread acclaim in the culinary world. However, Dean's career was marred by controversy in 2013 when it was revealed that she had used racial slurs in the past. The public backlash was swift and severe, resulting in the cancellation of her Food Network show and the loss of multiple endorsement deals. This revelation significantly tarnished her public image and led to a substantial decline in her career. The incident highlighted the broader societal issues surrounding racism and the impact such revelations can have on public figures. In 2024, Paula Dean is 76 years old. Despite the significant setback, she has made efforts to rebuild her career and reputation. Dean has returned to the public eye with new ventures and projects, aiming to reconnect with her audience and restore her standing in the culinary community. Her journey reflects the challenges of overcoming personal and professional controversies and the potential for redemption through resilience and a commitment to positive change. Stacy Dash Stacy Dash, born on January 20, 1967, in the Bronx, New York, is an American actress, producer, and political commentator. She rose to prominence in the 1990s with her breakout role as Dion Davenport in the cult classic film Clueless and its subsequent television series. Dash's performance garnered her significant attention, and she continued to build her career with roles in films like Mo Money and Renaissance Man, as well as various television appearances. In 2013, Dash made a dramatic shift in her career by transitioning into political commentary. She became known for her outspoken conservative views, which she regularly expressed on social media and as a contributor on Fox News starting in 2014. However, her controversial statements on a range of topics often sparked backlash. By 2017, Fox News chose not to renew her contract, effectively ending her tenure as a commentator. This departure underscored the difficulties public figures face when their personal beliefs polarize public opinion. As of 2024, Stacey Dash is 56 years old. She continues to engage with her audience through social media and occasional public appearances, though her career has not reached the same heights as during her clueless days. Dash's journey reflects the volatile nature of public careers, particularly when personal and political views become deeply intertwined with professional endeavors. Her story is a testament to the complex intersection of entertainment and politics and the lasting impact of public perception. Julie Chen Julie Chen, born on January 6, 1970 in Queens, New York, is an American television personality, producer, and news anchor. She is best known for her role as the host of the long-running reality show Big Brother since its inception in 2000 as well as her position as a co-host on the CBS daytime talk show, The Talk. Chen's career in journalism and television has been marked by her professionalism and poise, earning her a respected place in the industry. In 2018, Chen faced a personal and professional crisis when her husband, CBS CEO Les Moonves, was accused of multiple instances of sexual misconduct. In the wake of these allegations, Chen publicly showed support for her husband by signing off Big Brother episodes as Julie Chen Moonves. The controversy surrounding her husband's actions, combined with her public stance, led to significant scrutiny and ultimately resulted in her departure from the talk later that year. 
This incident highlighted the complex dynamics of personal and professional lives intersecting in the public eye. As of 2024, Julie Chen is 53 years old. Despite the challenges posed by the scandal, she has continued to host Big Brother and remains a prominent figure in television. Chen's ability to maintain her career amidst personal turmoil underscores her resilience and dedication to her profession. Her experience illustrates the delicate balance of navigating personal relationships and public responsibilities, and the strength required to sustain a high-profile career through difficult times. Ellen DeGeneres Ellen DeGeneres, born on January 26, 1958, in Meteorie, Louisiana, is a renowned American comedian, actress, and television host. She gained widespread recognition with her stand-up comedy before starring in her own sitcom, Ellen, in the 1990s, which made history when her character came out as gay, mirroring DeGeneres' real-life coming out. This moment was groundbreaking for LGBTQ plus representation on television and earned her both critical acclaim and public support. In 2003, she launched The Ellen DeGeneres Show, which became a massive success, winning numerous daytime Emmy Awards and solidifying her status as a beloved TV personality. However, DeGeneres' career faced a significant challenge in 2020 when allegations of a toxic work environment behind the scenes of her talk show surfaced. Former employees accused the show of fostering a culture of fear, intimidation, and harassment. These revelations led to an internal investigation and substantial media coverage, which tarnished DeGeneres' image as the Queen of Nice. The controversy culminated in DeGeneres announcing the end of The Ellen DeGeneres Show after its 19th season in 2022. As of 2024, Ellen DeGeneres is 66 years old. Despite the setbacks, she continues to be involved in various projects, including her digital content and production company. DeGeneres' journey highlights the complexities of maintaining a public persona and the importance of accountability in leadership. Her story serves as a reminder of the ever-evolving nature of fame and the critical role that personal and professional integrity play in sustaining a long-lasting career in the spotlight. Rose McGowan Rose McGowan, born on September 5, 1973, in Florence, Italy, is an American actress and activist who became widely known for her roles in films like Scream and the television series Charmed. McGowan's performances in the late 1990s and early 2000s established her as a prominent figure in Hollywood, known for her distinctive style and bold screen presence. Beyond her acting career, she became a vocal advocate for various social issues, using her platform to speak out against injustice. In 2017, McGowan emerged as one of the leading voices in the Me Too movement, publicly accusing Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein of sexual assault. Her allegations, alongside those of many other women, helped to expose the widespread issue of sexual misconduct in the entertainment industry and beyond. McGowan's bravery in coming forward played a pivotal role in igniting a global conversation about accountability, power dynamics, and the need for systemic change. As of 2024, Rose McGowan is 50 years old. She has transitioned from acting to focus more on her activism and writing, continuing to advocate for survivors of sexual violence and push for societal reforms. McGowan's unwavering commitment to justice and her ability to leverage her experiences for positive change illustrate her resilience and dedication. Her journey underscores the power of speaking truth to power and the impact that one individual's courage can have on a broader movement. Congratulations on completing one three of this exploration journey. If you enjoyed this video, please comment one, otherwise comment zero. We will use this feedback to evaluate and improve our content. Thank you. Gilbert Gottfried Gilbert Gottfried, born on February 28, 1955, in Brooklyn, New York, was a beloved American stand-up comedian, actor, and voice actor. 
Known for his distinctive, high-pitched voice and boundary-pushing humor, Gottfried carved out a unique niche in the comedy world. He gained widespread recognition for his roles in films like Beverly Hills Cop 2 and Problem Child, as well as for voicing the parrot Iago in Disney's Aladdin. His career spanned several decades, during which he became a staple in both stand-up comedy and voice acting. In 2011, Gottfried faced a significant setback when he made a series of insensitive jokes on social media about the earthquake and tsunami in Japan. These remarks led to a swift backlash, culminating in his termination as the voice of the Aflac duck in commercials, a role he had held for many years. The incident highlighted the risks comedians face when their humor crosses into controversial territory, especially in the age of social media, where comments can quickly go viral and attract widespread criticism. Gilbert Gottfried passed away on April 12, 2022, at the age of 67, due to complications from recurrent ventricular tachycardia caused by myotonic dystrophy type 2. Despite the controversies, he left behind a legacy as a fearless comedian who was unafraid to push the envelope. His career is remembered for its boldness and the indelible mark he made on the comedy and entertainment industries. Gottfried's unique voice and comedic style continue to be celebrated by fans and peers alike. Brendan Fraser Brendan Fraser, born on December 3, 1968, in Indianapolis, Indiana, is a Canadian-American actor who became a household name in the 1990s and early 2000s. He gained fame for his roles in hit movies like The Mummy series, George of the Jungle, and Encino Man, where his charisma and physical comedy endeared him to audiences worldwide. Frazier's versatility allowed him to excel in both action-packed blockbusters and heartwarming comedies, making him one of Hollywood's most popular stars during that era. However, Frazier's career experienced a significant decline due to personal and health challenges. He suffered multiple injuries while performing stunts, leading to numerous surgeries and chronic pain that hindered his ability to work. Additionally, he faced emotional and psychological strain following a reported incident of sexual harassment and the subsequent lack of support from the industry. These factors contributed to a hiatus from major film roles, causing his once thriving career to stall. As of 2024, Brendan Fraser is 55 years old and has made a notable comeback in the entertainment industry. His recent roles, such as in the critically acclaimed TV series Doom Patrol and upcoming film projects, signal a resurgence in his career. Fraser's journey from stardom to struggle and back to recognition underscores the resilience and determination needed to overcome personal and professional hardships. His story serves as an inspiring testament to perseverance and the enduring talent that continues to captivate audiences. Kevin Spacey Kevin Spacey, born on July 26, 1959 in South Orange, New Jersey, is an acclaimed American actor known for his versatile and powerful performances. He achieved critical acclaim in the 1990s with standout roles in films such as The Usual Suspects, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, and American Beauty, which earned him an Academy Award for Best Actor. Spacey's talent and range made him a respected figure in Hollywood, leading to a successful career that included his portrayal of the manipulative Frank Underwood in the popular Netflix series House of Cards. However, Spacey's career took a dramatic downturn in 2017 when multiple individuals accused him of sexual misconduct. These allegations led to his immediate removal from House of Cards, where he played the lead role and his replacement by Christopher Plummer in the film All the Money in the World. The accusations sparked widespread outrage and effectively ended his career in mainstream entertainment. The scandal not only marked a significant fall from grace for Spacey, but also highlighted the growing movement toward accountability and the importance of addressing misconduct within the industry. As of 2024, Kevin Spacey is 64 years old, 
While he has largely remained out of the public eye since the allegations, he has made occasional appearances and expressed intentions to return to acting. His case remains a prominent example of how personal conduct can dramatically alter a public figure's career and reputation. Spacey's story underscores the critical importance of professional integrity and the lasting impact of allegations of misconduct. Matt Lauer Matt Lauer, born on December 30, 1957 in New York City, is an American television journalist who became a household name as the co-host of NBC's Today Show. With a career spanning over two decades, Lauer was a prominent figure in morning television, known for conducting high-profile interviews and reporting on major events. His engaging presence and journalistic skills earned him a loyal audience and made him a central figure in American morning news. In 2017, Lauer's career came to an abrupt end when he was terminated by NBC following allegations of inappropriate sexual behavior in the workplace. A detailed complaint from a colleague, along with subsequent investigations, revealed a pattern of misconduct over an extended period. Lauer's swift dismissal sent shockwaves through the media industry as he was one of the most recognizable faces on television at the time. The scandal highlighted the broader issues of workplace harassment and contributed to the Me Too movement, which emphasized the need for accountability and change within various industries. As of 2024, Matt Lauer is 66 years old. Since his firing, he has largely stayed out of the public eye, with limited media appearances and no significant professional engagements. Lauer's downfall serves as a stark reminder of the impact that allegations of misconduct can have on a career, regardless of previous success or public standing. His story underscores the importance of maintaining ethical behavior in professional settings and the profound consequences that can arise from failing to do so. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen, born Carlos Erwin Estevez on September 3, 1965 in New York City, is an American actor known for his dynamic performances in both film and television. He gained early fame with roles in critically acclaimed films such as Platoon and Wall Street, showcasing his range and talent. Sheen's popularity soared with his role in the hit sitcom Two and a Half Men, where his portrayal of the hedonistic Charlie Harper earned him widespread acclaim and made the show one of the most watched comedies on television. However, Sheen's career took a dramatic and highly publicized turn in 2011 due to his erratic behavior and controversial statements. His public meltdown, including disparaging remarks about the show's creator, Chuck Lorre, led to his firing from Two and a Half Men. Sheen's unpredictable actions and self-destructive behavior during this period became a media spectacle, coining phrases like winning and tiger blood, which became emblematic of his chaotic lifestyle. This marked a significant setback in his professional life, illustrating the impact of personal struggles on a high-profile career. As of 2024, Charlie Sheen is 58 years old. Despite the challenges, Sheen has continued to work in the entertainment industry, making appearances in various television shows and movies. His journey from stardom to scandal and his efforts to rebuild his career serve as a cautionary tale about the pressures of fame and the importance of managing personal issues. Sheen's story underscores the complexities of maintaining a successful career in the public eye while dealing with personal demons. Shane Gillis Shane Gillis, born on June 1, 1987 in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, is an American stand-up comedian and writer known for his edgy and often controversial humor. He began gaining recognition through his stand-up performances and his podcast, where he showcased his distinctive comedic style. In 2019, Gillis was announced as a new cast member for Saturday Night Live, SNL, a significant milestone for any comedian, indicating a promising rise in his career. However, shortly after the announcement, past episodes of Gillis's podcast surfaced, containing offensive and derogatory remarks, including racial slurs and insensitive comments. The backlash was immediate and severe, 
leading to his firing from SNL before he even had the chance to appear on the show. The controversy sparked widespread discussion about accountability in comedy, freedom of speech, and the boundaries of acceptable discourse. Gillis's firing highlighted the intense scrutiny comedians face regarding their past and present content, especially in the age of social media. As of 2024, Shane Gillis is 36 years old. Despite the setback, he has continued to pursue his career in comedy, performing stand-up and producing content for his podcast and other platforms. Gillis's experience reflects the challenges comedians face in balancing edgy humor with societal expectations and the potential consequences of crossing those lines. His ongoing work in comedy demonstrates his resilience and commitment to his craft, even in the face of significant professional obstacles. Isaiah Washington Isaiah Washington, born on August 3, 1963, in Houston, Texas, is an American actor known for his powerful performances in both film and television. He gained significant recognition for his role as Dr. Preston Burke on the popular medical drama Grey's Anatomy. Washington's portrayal of the talented cardiothoracic surgeon earned him critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. Prior to this, he had notable roles in films such as Crooklyn and Clockers, showcasing his versatility as an actor. In 2007, Washington's career faced a major setback when he was involved in an on-set altercation during which he used a homophobic slur directed at co-star T.R. Knight. The incident sparked public outrage and led to widespread media coverage, ultimately resulting in his dismissal from Grey's Anatomy. This controversy highlighted the challenges of maintaining a professional and respectful workplace environment, especially within the high-stakes realm of Hollywood. Washington's firing underscored the industry's growing intolerance for discriminatory behavior. As of 2024, Isaiah Washington is 60 years old. Despite the significant setback, he has continued to work in the entertainment industry, taking on various roles in television and film. His ability to persevere through adversity and continue his career demonstrates his resilience and dedication to his craft. Washington's journey reflects the complexities of navigating a career in the public eye, especially when faced with personal and professional controversies. Jussie Smollett Jussie Smollett, born on June 21, 1982 in Santa Rosa, California, is an American actor, singer, and songwriter who gained fame for his role as Jamal Lyon on the television series Empire. Smollett's portrayal of the talented and openly gay musician won him critical acclaim and made him a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. His performance on Empire showcased both his acting and musical talents, earning him a dedicated fan base and significant media attention. In 2019, Smollett's career was dramatically impacted by a highly publicized controversy. He reported being the victim of a hate crime in Chicago, claiming he was attacked by two men who used racist and homophobic slurs. However, subsequent investigations raised suspicions that the incident was staged, leading to accusations that Smollett had filed a false police report. The fallout from these allegations was swift, resulting in his removal from the final episodes of Empire and significant damage to his public image. The incident sparked widespread debate about issues of accountability, justice, and the implications of false reporting. As of 2024, Jussie Smollett is 41 years old. Despite the controversy, he has continued to pursue his career, focusing on music and other creative projects. Smollett's case remains a contentious topic, reflecting the broader societal issues related to race, sexuality, and truth in the media. His journey illustrates the profound impact that personal actions can have on a professional career and highlights the ongoing challenges of navigating public and legal scrutiny. Ryan Locked Ryan Locked, born on August 3, 1984 in Rochester, New York, is an American competitive swimmer and Olympic gold medalist. Locked became a household name due to his exceptional performances in the pool, earning multiple medals at various Olympic Games and World Championships. 
Known for his powerful swimming style and charismatic personality, he solidified his status as one of the sport's most successful and recognizable athletes. However, Lochte's career encountered a significant controversy during the 2016 Rio Olympics. He falsely reported being robbed at gunpoint, a story that quickly unraveled under scrutiny. The incident led to public backlash, a suspension from competitive swimming, and the loss of several lucrative endorsement deals. This scandal not only tarnished his reputation, but also highlighted the intense media scrutiny and the high stakes for athletes representing their countries on the world stage. As of 2024, Ryan Lochte is 39 years old. Despite the setbacks, he has made efforts to rebuild his public image and return to competitive swimming. Lochte's resilience and determination have allowed him to continue participating in the sport he loves, while also engaging in various business ventures and media appearances. His journey underscores the challenges athletes face in maintaining their reputations and the importance of accountability and redemption in the public eye. Anthony Kumia Anthony Kumia, born on April 26, 1961, in Elwood, New York, is an American radio personality and comedian best known as one half of the popular radio duo Opie and Anthony. The show, known for its irreverent humor and controversial discussions, gained a significant following and made Kumia a well-known figure in the world of radio. His career spanned many years, during which he became known for pushing boundaries and engaging in provocative content. In 2014, Kumia's career faced a major setback when he was fired from Sirius XM after posting a series of racially charged tweets. The tweets, which were deemed highly offensive, led to accusations of racism and a subsequent public fallout. Sirius XM's decision to terminate his contract highlighted the growing intolerance for such behavior in the media industry and the impact of social media on public figures' careers. The incident emphasized the importance of responsible communication, especially for those in influential positions. As of 2024, Anthony Cumia is 62 years old. Despite the controversy, he has continued to pursue his career in broadcasting by launching his own online platform, Compound Media, where he hosts shows and podcasts. Kumia's ability to sustain his career independently demonstrates his resilience and adaptability in the face of adversity. His story reflects the broader challenges of navigating a career in the public eye, particularly when personal actions and public perceptions collide. Thomas Gibson Thomas Gibson, born on July 3, 1962, in Charleston, South Carolina, is an American actor and director best known for his roles in television dramas. He gained early recognition for his work on the sitcom Dharma and Greg, where he played the uptight lawyer Greg Montgomery. However, Gibson is perhaps most famous for his role as Aaron Hotchner, the stern and dedicated team leader on the long-running crime drama Criminal Minds. Gibson's career hit a major obstacle in 2016 when he was fired from Criminal Minds after an on-set altercation with a producer. The incident, which involved a physical confrontation, led to his immediate dismissal from the show after more than a decade of being a central figure. This controversy not only marked a significant professional setback, but also brought to light the challenges actors can face in maintaining composure and professionalism in high-pressure environments. As of 2024, Thomas Gibson is 61 years old. Despite the difficulties following his departure from Criminal Minds, he has continued to work in the entertainment industry, taking on various roles in film and television. His persistence in pursuing his career reflects his dedication and resilience. Gibson's journey underscores the importance of professionalism and the potential consequences of lapses in behavior, even for well-established actors. Jeffrey Tambor Jeffrey Tambor, born on July 8, 1944, in San Francisco, California, is an acclaimed American actor known for his versatility in both comedy and drama. He gained widespread fame for his roles in television series such as The Larry Sanders Show, 
where he played the insecure sidekick Hank Kingsley, and Arrested Development, portraying the bumbling patriarch George Bluth Sr. Tambor's career reached new heights with his portrayal of Maura Pfefferman in the groundbreaking series Transparent, which earned him multiple awards, including Emmys and a Golden Globe. In 2017, Tambor's career faced a significant challenge when he was accused of inappropriate behavior on the set of Transparent. Allegations of sexual misconduct were made by co-star Trace Lee Set and a former assistant, Van Barnes. Despite Tambor's denials, the ensuing investigation led to his removal from the show. The controversy not only ended his tenure on Transparent, but also sparked broader conversations about workplace harassment and the treatment of marginalized communities in the entertainment industry. As of 2024, Jeffrey Tambor is 79 years old. Although the allegations had a profound impact on his career, he has continued to pursue acting and other creative endeavors. Tambor's experience highlights the critical importance of maintaining ethical conduct in professional environments, and the lasting repercussions that allegations of misconduct can have on an individual's career. His journey reflects the ongoing efforts within the industry to address and rectify issues of harassment and abuse, promoting a safer and more inclusive working environment for all. Mel Gibson Mel Gibson, born on January 3, 1956, in Peekskill, New York, is an American-Australian actor, director, and producer. He gained worldwide fame in the 1980s with his roles in the Mad Max series and the Lethal Weapon franchise. Gibson's transition to directing proved equally successful, with his film Braveheart winning five Academy Awards, including Best Director and Best Picture. His 2004 film The Passion of the Christ further cemented his status as a major Hollywood figure, despite its controversy. However, Gibson's career was significantly marred by personal scandals. In 2006, he was arrested for driving under the influence and made anti-Semitic remarks during the arrest, which caused widespread condemnation and severely damaged his reputation. Further allegations of domestic abuse and racist comments emerged, compounding his public and professional troubles. These incidents led to Gibson being largely ostracized from mainstream Hollywood for a period, significantly impacting his career. As of 2024, Mel Gibson is 68. Despite the controversies, he has managed to make a partial comeback, both as an actor and a director. Films like Hacksaw Ridge, which he directed, received critical acclaim and even garnered Academy Award nominations. Gibson's story is one of both significant artistic achievement and profound personal and professional challenges, illustrating the complex interplay between personal behavior and public and professional perception in the entertainment industry. Bill Cosby Bill Cosby, born on July 12, 1937, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, is an American comedian, actor, and producer. He rose to fame in the 1960s with his stand-up comedy and his groundbreaking role in the television series I Spy. Cosby became a cultural icon in the 1980s with The Cosby Show, a top-rated sitcom that portrayed an affluent African-American family and earned widespread acclaim for its positive depiction of black life in America. He was often referred to as America's Dad due to his role as Cliff Huxtable on the show. Cosby's career and legacy were drastically altered by numerous allegations of sexual assault. Beginning in the mid-2010s, dozens of women accused Cosby of drugging and sexually assaulting them over several decades. In 2018, he was convicted of aggravated indecent assault and sentenced to prison. The scandal and subsequent conviction led to a complete collapse of his public image and numerous legal and financial repercussions. His conviction was overturned in 2021 on a procedural issue, but his reputation remains irreparably tarnished. As of 2024, Bill Cosby is 87 years old. He has remained largely out of the public eye since his release from prison. Cosby's downfall from a beloved entertainer to a convicted felon 
underscores the profound impact that allegations and convictions of serious misconduct can have on an individual's legacy. His story is a stark reminder of the importance of accountability and the far-reaching consequences of personal actions, particularly for public figures. Army Hammer Army Hammer, born on August 28, 1986 in Santa Monica, California, is an American actor known for his roles in films such as The Social Network, where he portrayed the Winklevoss twins and Call Me By Your Name, for which he received widespread acclaim. Hammer's career trajectory seemed promising, with his performances garnering critical praise and establishing him as a rising star in Hollywood. However, in early 2021, Hammer's career faced a severe setback when allegations of sexual misconduct and abusive behavior surfaced. Multiple women accused him of emotional abuse, manipulation, and violent fantasies, leading to a significant public and media outcry. The allegations resulted in Hammer being dropped from several film projects and his talent agency. The controversy deeply affected his professional standing, highlighting the industry's growing intolerance for such behaviors and the swift repercussions that can follow public accusations. As of 2024, Army Hammer is 38 years old. He has largely retreated from the public eye and the entertainment industry amid ongoing legal issues and public scrutiny. Hammer's situation underscores the severe impact that personal conduct can have on an actor's career and the broader conversations around consent and power dynamics in relationships. His story serves as a stark reminder of the importance of ethical behavior and the potential career-ending consequences of allegations of misconduct. James Franco James Franco, born on April 19, 1978, in Palo Alto, California, is an American actor, filmmaker, and writer. He gained early fame with his role on the TV series Freaks and Geeks, and later starred in blockbuster films such as the Spider-Man trilogy and 127 Hours, the latter earning him an Academy Award nomination. Franco's versatility and prolific work across film, television, and academia made him a prominent figure in Hollywood. Franco's career has been marred by multiple allegations of inappropriate behavior and sexual misconduct. In 2018, several women accused him of exploiting his position to engage in sexually inappropriate behavior during acting classes he taught. These allegations led to significant media coverage and professional fallout, including a lawsuit and public scrutiny. Although Franco denied the allegations, the controversy affected his reputation and professional opportunities, highlighting the ongoing issues of abuse of power and misconduct in the entertainment industry. As of 2024, James Franco is 46 years old. While he continues to work in various capacities, his public image has been significantly tarnished, and his career has not fully recovered from the allegations. Franco's experience illustrates the lasting impact that accusations of misconduct can have on a public figure's career and the importance of addressing and preventing such behaviors within the industry. His story contributes to the broader narrative of accountability and the need for ethical standards in professional and educational settings. Louis C.K. Louis C.K., born on September 12, 1967 in Washington, D.C., is an American comedian, writer, and actor known for his sharp observational humor and groundbreaking work in stand-up comedy. He gained significant recognition for his critically acclaimed television series, Louis, which he wrote, directed, and starred in. His unique comedic style and raw, honest approach to humor earned him numerous awards and a devoted fan base. In 2017, Louis C.K.'s career came to a sudden halt when multiple women accused him of sexual misconduct. The allegations included instances where he exposed himself and engaged in inappropriate behavior. Following these revelations, he admitted to the misconduct, leading to widespread condemnation and professional repercussions. His television projects were canceled, and several networks and partners severed ties with him. This scandal highlighted the significant impact of such behavior on a person's career, especially in the context of the Tupper Me Too movement, which was gaining momentum at the time. 
As of 2024, Louis C.K. is 56 years old. Despite the significant backlash, he has made attempts to return to stand-up comedy, performing at smaller venues and independently releasing new material. While he retains a segment of his audience, his public image and career have been irrevocably altered by the scandal. Louis C.K.'s story underscores the importance of accountability and the lasting consequences of personal actions on professional life, especially in the entertainment industry. Harvey Weinstein Harvey Weinstein, born on March 19, 1952, in Flushing, New York, is a former film producer and co-founder of Miramax and the Weinstein Company. He was one of the most powerful figures in Hollywood, producing numerous critically acclaimed and commercially successful films such as Pulp Fiction, Shakespeare in Love, and The King's Speech. Weinstein's influence in the film industry was immense, and he was known for his aggressive and often controversial tactics in securing awards and deals. Weinstein's career and reputation were destroyed in 2017 when the New York Times and the New Yorker published extensive investigations detailing numerous allegations of sexual harassment, assault, and rape by him over several decades. The accusations came from multiple women, including well-known actresses, and painted a picture of systemic abuse of power. These revelations sparked the global Me Too movement, encouraging countless individuals to come forward with their own experiences of harassment and assault. As of 2024, Harvey Weinstein is 72 years old and is serving a lengthy prison sentence following his 2020 conviction on charges of rape and sexual assault. His fall from grace was swift and dramatic, transforming him from one of Hollywood's most influential producers to a symbol of the pervasive issue of sexual misconduct in the industry. Weinstein's case underscores the profound and far-reaching consequences of abusive behavior and has led to significant changes in industry practices and a greater emphasis on accountability and justice for survivors. John Galliano John Galliano, born on November 28, 1960, in Gibraltar, is a British fashion designer renowned for his work with high-end fashion houses such as Givenchy, Christian Dior, and Maison Margiela. Galliano's innovative and theatrical designs earned him acclaim and recognition as one of the most talented designers of his generation. His tenure at Dior, in particular, was marked by extravagant runway shows and stunning couture collections, which solidified his reputation in the fashion world. In 2011, Galliano's career suffered a significant blow when he was arrested and subsequently dismissed from Dior after making anti-Semitic remarks in a Parisian cafe. The incident, which was captured on video, led to widespread condemnation and legal repercussions, including a trial where he was found guilty of making public insults based on origin, religious affiliation, race, or ethnicity. This controversy not only damaged Galliano's professional standing, but also highlighted the broader issue of intolerance and the responsibilities of public figures in maintaining respectful conduct. As of 2024, John Galliano is 63 years old. Despite the severe impact of the scandal, he has managed to rebuild his career, taking on the role of creative director at Maison Margiela and continuing to contribute to the fashion industry. Galliano's story is one of redemption and resilience, demonstrating his ability to recover and reinvent himself after a significant personal and professional crisis. His journey underscores the challenges of navigating the consequences of one's actions while striving for personal and professional growth. Charlie Rose Charlie Rose, born on January 5, 1942, in Henderson, North Carolina, is an American television journalist and talk show host who became one of the most respected figures in broadcast journalism. Over his career, Rose conducted in-depth interviews with countless prominent personalities, including political leaders, artists, and celebrities, on his long-running PBS show, Charlie Rose. His work was widely regarded for its depth and intellectual rigor, earning him numerous accolades and a loyal audience. 
Rose's distinguished career came to an abrupt end in 2017 when multiple women accused him of sexual harassment. The allegations, which included unwanted advances and inappropriate behavior, led to his immediate termination from CBS and PBS. The revelations not only tarnished his professional legacy, but also added to the broader conversation about workplace harassment and the need for systemic change within the media industry. The scandal highlighted the pervasive issue of abuse of power and the significant impact such behavior can have on victims and their careers. As of 2024, Charlie Rose is 82 years old. Since the allegations, he has remained largely out of the public eye, with his professional engagements and public appearances ceasing entirely. Rose's fall from grace serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of maintaining ethical behavior and the severe consequences of failing to do so. His story underscores the ongoing efforts to address and prevent harassment in the workplace, promoting a culture of respect and accountability. Thank you all for being among those who stayed till the end of the video. Comment too so we can see you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Famous People channel for more insightful content. We appreciate your participation and look forward to sharing more engaging stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.